Hey, it's me again. And uh, after I uploaded the video from, from earlier today of checking rocker arm geometry, I wanted to just show up a, uh, or throw up a, a, a practical comparison. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show what the mid lift geometry shows to be uh, the correct push rod length for for this engine. Um, to do that, so let me let me take a step back. If you use checking springs with most rocker arms, you will find that you will have more lift than what you should have. And I've mentioned that in the past, it's because rocker arms are generally made with uh, anti-deflection engineered into them, okay? So if you take your lobe lift and you multiply it by your rocker arm ratio, that should be how much lift that you get at the valve. If you do that practical exercise with a checking spring, you will almost find that you get more lift than what you should have. So with that in mind, I'm putting my actual valve springs back on. So we're gonna have, you know, 370, 380 pounds open pressure. I've also going to use this um, lift hydraulic lifter that I've converted to solid. And uh, we'll get we'll say some more things about that later. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get um, get this lifter on the heel of the lobe. We are going to put and I've got a, a fresh coat of red marker there. We're gonna get our rocker arm on. And I'm gonna put my poly lock on with zero lash. And obviously we're gonna have zero preload because it's a solid lifter effectively. So mid lift geometry says that at half of your lift, you you draw a line through your fulcrum, through your pivot, and at half lift, this line should be perpendicular to your valve stem, okay? You should be able to put a right angle on those. So in order to find half lift, then we need to run through and find out what our lift at the valve is. So let me get my, I've got my, dial indicator stand that screws into my cylinder head on here and let me get that set up and then we'll continue okay so we're ready to go here and i'm going to use a, a breaker bar on cam gear and we're going to measure our lift so one two three four Five, five fifty, five sixty, five seventy, five seventy, um, one or two, um, I'm trying to remember what the cam card says we should have at the valve. I think it's five seventy four, so. You know we're pretty much dead on for what we should be measuring at the valve which is good so half of five we'll call it 570 would be what would that be um 285 right so let's back up we're gonna go to 285 so there's five well my uh breaker bar snapped back so <clears throat> under spring pressure. So we'll do it this way. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 60, 70, 80, 5. So at this point, we should have a right angle through the fulcrum to the roller tip on the nose perpendicular to that valve stem, and we do. Looks pretty stinking good. All right, so there's our pattern. Very narrow, near the center of the valve stem. 
I measured it at 47 thousandths. So when I was doing it, um, just by going by the um, how narrow the pattern is versus the midlift geometry method, I was getting, I think, like 48, 49. So well within the tolerance of what I can measure a paint mark with. So um, if we pull this push rod out and measure it, um, I'll have to do that off camera because I only have one hand. But uh, let's go ahead and measure this push rod. And give me a second. Okay, I'm back. So 6330 is what I'm measuring. Um, I ordered a 6300 push rod. But this lifter that I'm using is about 50 thousandths shorter than these morel lifters in the push rod seat. So if I set the roller against a, um, a datum surface and then measured to the push rod cup, there's only about 40 thousandths or 50 thousandths difference in between these two lifters. So I am within, I don't know, 10, 15 thousandths of push rod length and um, from what I measured before using a different method so I'm gonna call that a complete success and uh, I'm, I'm fully confident that um, when the push rods come in and we use our morel lifters with the preload to the lifter we would we will be getting a very narrow pattern so uh, minimum sweep across the valve is what we want and uh, it's nice when you can verify measurements um, across several different platforms. That's why I, I like checking myself with different micrometers and things, bore mics when I'm measuring bearing clearances and uh, different torque wrenches and that sort of thing. So uh, we were just uh, quantifying and uh, collaborating our measurements, which is good. All right, that's all that I wanted to show you. Um, I was piddling around here in the shop and thought that'd be a good thing to show. So you can certainly uh, do the middle lift geometry method. Um, I have seen instances where it was not perfectly correct, but uh, that's why I like checking it against other ways. So, all right, guys, that's uh, all I have for you. And um, hope to see you all next week. And uh, hit that subscribe button. And um, talk to you later.